was told my Australian cattle dog cannot be given any form of ivermectin. Is it true that it can pass through the brain membrane and kill them? Okay. Ivermectin is a very common active ingredient in heartworm preventatives that you know about. It's a heart guard. TriHeart Plus, IverHeart Plus, IverHeart Max, and many others. At high doses, it can cause toxic syndromes. It can cause blindness and vomiting and seizures and staggering, and yeah, even death. This has to happen at a toxic dose, a high level. There are two groups that I pay particular attention to to make sure that we stay out of trouble. One is young dogs and cats, less than say six weeks of age. They can be susceptible to this because of where they are developmentally. Um, the other is that there's a group of dog breeds. I'll post a list of the breeds that are predisposed to this mutation in the description below. So those are the two groups that I use caution with ivermectin in. Now, here's the two take home points I want you to remember. Number one, every breed should be just fine to have ivermectin at a dose sufficient to handle heartworms, okay? So if you're using um, a well-known brand, you should be fine regardless. Number two, if you're concerned, say you have one of the breeds that can be sensitive to ivermectin and you want to know more, you can get your dog tested to see if that mutation exists or not. Ask your veterinarian about it. The test that I'm familiar with is through Washington State University's College of Vet Medicine. What do you got? Is it okay to walk my dog around Area 51? I tell my clients it is okay to walk your dog around Area 51 unless they begin to glow or accurately predict Grammy winners.